me, your host, Bizarro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look, oh, God! it's a big bag of stuff. Ah, it's a big bag as well today. Big bag of stuff. Turn that fan off for two minutes. Right, guys. So, I've got some deliveries as well. So, first things first, I want to say a big thank you to Luke Mayo, who is the actual admin for, or is one of the admins for Marvel Legends UK. Um, he sold me a couple of new figures. So we have the X. Uh, it's not no X Force. Uh, Extreme X Men Rogue. Um, I think it was the Extreme X Men. Uh, nice. It's a good storyline with Bishop. Uh, Gambit's in that one. Um, Psylocke. It's after the, the the mansion blows up, I believe I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, nice figure. Uh, I've never had a rogue, so this is the alternative rogue. Um, the glasses actually come off as well. There's actually eyes underneath those glasses, so you could remove them. But yeah, I've never had a rogue before, because the, the actual Marvel Legends updated rogue from the 90s version is really expensive. So I've got her, and we've also got Miss Marvel, because you know I've been dying to get that black canary head on top of Miss Marvel. Uh, I think it'll make a great... Um, sort of almost cinematic looking figure to stand with like all my other figures and until we get the actual cinematic version of Captain Marvel she's gonna be the next nearest thing but she looks good for a display nonetheless I like Miss Marvel and um, I like Carol Danvers so this is gonna be a great figure for the collection then ID toys in demand toys were able to hook us up yeah buddy with Admiral Pitt I still haven't got the other one yet but I've got Pitt his eyes are a little bit weird but I like him nonetheless so, another Admiral for the collection, another awesome figure, and I'm glad they're using this face scan technology. I just hope we don't end up with like a thousand Admirals and Generals. and Because it is literally the same body every time, with just a few decal differences. So I hope Hasbro don't get lazy and just keep printing these with the different actors' faces on them. But it's a nice figure for the collection nonetheless. If you want to see me review this one, please let me know in the comments. I'll get that reviewed as soon as possible for you. Because it is a relatively new figure. Right, onto the Smith's Hall. We've got a big bag of stuff from Smith's Toy Store. And I think you guys are going to love what I got. So one thing that's in here that wasn't actually from Smith's, so I'm cheating. This is from Disney Store. Big Hero 6 the series. We've now got a mini Baymax. And he talks. Let me just remove that. There we go, remove that piece. And then... And I am all over Fredzilla! <laughs> Yeah. Greetings, I am Minimax, Defender of Justice. If you'd like to see a full review of Mini Baymax, let us know in the comments. I'm going to have to review him, he's awesome. Mini Maximum Pursuit Mode. <laughs> uh, he's so cool. So, definitely going to be reviewing him, guys. But if you want to see him reviewed, let us know in the comments. Okay, on to the cool stuff. Smith's time. Smiths have now got a bunch of new lines in at the minute, guys, so it's a great time to go shopping there. Mrs. Super Sorrel. <coughs> Mrs. Super Sorrel picked up one of the first Harry Potter dolls that they're releasing. This is Professor Minivera McGonagall. Ooh, I'm dropping it. This is Mrs. McGonagall. Uh, there's quite a few in this collection. Um, it's a brand new Harry Potter. Baymax randomly talking. This is Mrs. McGonagall. Um, she looks pretty young to be McGonagall, but it still looks good. Um, a Maggie Smith doll, for God's sake, you need that in your collection. But you can also get, like, Albus Dumbledore, you can get Hermione, you can get Ron, you can get Ginny, and you can get Hermione, and you can get Harry. So I'm hoping the next series might be, like, Snape and Voldemort. I'd like to collect, for me, like, Mrs. Superstar, I'll probably get all these kind of ones. If they start releasing, like, Lucius Malfoy, <laughs> Bellatrix, Snape and Voldemort, I am there. I want the bad guys. So... I hope they'd make more of these and we'll get more Wizarding World dolls. That's a pretty cool doll. Miss Superstar will be reviewing it on her channel, well, on this channel, um, real soon. It is her channel, she, she doesn't really do it on her channel. Everything goes on mine. I love then, channel. Hi. <laughs> then, we picked up a load of new Batman products. So this is a brand new line by DC and Mattel. This is the Batman Missions Collection. So we have an, a Batman which you can put armor on him and he talks. You're going back to Arkham Asylum, Killer Croc. It's up to me to stop Bane. This city is under my protection. Time for a smoke grenade. So that's really good. Cool. Oh, it's Super Soul. Soul Junior's just stolen mini Baymax from under my nose. Look, it's gone. <laughs> She's stolen it. 
Yeah. So yeah, we have um, this Batman. Yeah. This was twenty four ninety nine, yeah. and it comes in two different versions. You can have him as regular, <laughs> or you can have him in the armor. So that's twenty four ninety nine. What are you doing? Can I have that back now? Thank you. Thank you. Don't be taken away. Go on then, take him away then. Yeah. Next. <laughs> we have some figures in this collection as well. So this is DC's The Joker, a part of the Batman mission set. I'm not sure on this one, guys. It looks okay, I suppose, but it looks weird. We'll, we'll review him and we'll see how we go. It is based on the DC Kids sort of stuff, so... But it does look pretty cool nonetheless. This one looks odd. The Joker looks odd. I wish he didn't look as odd as he does. I'm hoping once I play with him and sculpt, like messy like you know, I'm hoping once I play with him I like him a bit more. Because the Harley Quinn in the collection, guys, is amazing. Again, even though she's from like the DC Kids line of stuff, she looks actually really cool. And there's some great artwork on here. And obviously from that, we're seeing that there's a Batgirl, so hopefully we're gonna get a Batgirl in this collection too. So yeah, Harley Quinn looks amazing. I really like Harley Quinn. And then finally, but not least of all, Batman, Robin and Bane come as a three pack. So you can buy Batman and you can buy Robin separately sim in a single pack like these. And they're, they're 9 99 each for 30 pounds. So it's, you know, it's about, it's the right, you know, it's right. So it's 10 pounds a figure still, but you get Bane. And this is the only way to collect Bane in this collection. There's also a, another version of Batman with a shield, but I didn't, obviously I don't want two Batmans. I got a decent Batman in this. Um, there's like a, like a grey and black Batman. Looks a lot like Batman Rebirth with the light, with the orange line around the bat. And this one lights up for Bane as well. So that's a little bit something different there. Doesn't make noise though, I wish it made noise. Wish he spoke. But again, we have a decent looking Dick Grayson Robin. So I can't wait to review this line and I hope they make more. It was nice and refreshing to go in to the toy store today and see a line of figures that wasn't from a film. You know what I mean? It's Batman figures, but it's not from anything particular. It's like a new line of product, which I like, and it's original, and it's fresh. Yeah, it's Joker and Batman and Robin again, but they're not in, like, the DC, like, you know, the, 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 the usual packaging of, like, you know, the movie versions or the... You know, the Mattel kids range. It's, like, a proper decent collectible item. They're, like, nice... <coughs> if you're an inbox collector, I think they'd look pretty decent on the shelf. But yeah, the the kind of basic figures, but they're not. They've got a lot of articulated points there. This rivals almost the multiverse from looking at it. I mean, she's got a, a ball joint for the head. She's got a hip joint. She's got upper upper arm, and she's got elbow, and she's got hand hinges. Her legs lift out. They also rotate at the thigh with a double with a single hinged knee and a rotation at the boot. I think there's no ankle. I think the ankles are static. But she's got boots on. I think Joker's got ankle pivot. So. <coughs> <coughs> it's very dry in this room right now. So, yeah, I'll be reviewing these real soon on the channel, guys. Are you excited to see this new line of Batman products get reviewed? Are you excited to see Mrs. Super Sorrel review the Harry Potter dolls? Let us know in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, guys, please smash that subscribe button. As you can see, we've got some amazing content you wouldn't want to miss, like Admiral Peart, some new Marvel Legends. Before I let you go, guys, don't forget to check out the awesome video that we did with the ticket giveaway for York Comic Con. I wouldn't want you to miss out, guys. York Unleashed have given us the opportunity to give some tickets away. I'd love for you guys to win them, so make sure you go ahead to that video and check it out. The York Comic Con video was the one video before this, so go to the video archive and check it out. Like I said, I wouldn't wait to miss out, it's going to be a great Comic Con. Exciting times, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up really helps, and also really helps the channel because YouTube's a bit weird. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll speak to you again soon. May the Force be with you.